we are uh, probably well known to you, one of the largest um, global toll road businesses, and we have 21 assets across five markets. Uh, we reported our FY21 results last week, last Monday, uh, and in terms of our FY21 performance, we actually feel quite pleased looking at the resilience of the asset base. So if we look year on year, traffic and revenue were both flat. If you count the contribution from new assets that came online in Sydney, uh, the M8, M5 East and North Connects, and they are all uh, performing ahead of expectations. That, um, that good performance is driven by a couple of things. Um, diversification across markets. So as you know, last year, while Melbourne was slower to recover, Sydney and Brisbane were performing pretty strongly. Um, we've seen continued resilience from commercial traffic and ultimately just the essential nature of our traffic networks. So we're quite pleased with how the uh, asset base is performing, despite it's obviously a challenging time. Now, obviously, in early FY22, we've seen uh, new restrictions placed um, in Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne, and they will have an impact on FY22 traffic and revenue. And what we put in the deck last week was some ranges around um, what those lockdowns did on a per week basis in the key markets that we operate, trying to give the market as much transparency as possible. Moving on though, um, we've got a really strong growth pipeline uh, in most of the key markets in which we operate. And that includes in Brisbane, um, we're looking at uh, widening the Logan and Gateway motorway and we hope that those projects can come to fruition in the next five, five years. Um, looking down into um, Sydney and uh, the most imminent project is the New South Wales government sale of their 49% stake in WestConnex. We're participating in that next month. And so hopefully we'll be back to talk to you about that. Um, I mean, at a high level, we see that obviously governments have quite a lot of pressure on their balance sheets and several of the governments with, with which we work are um, pointing to infrastructure as a really key lever um, for economic recovery on the other side of COVID. In terms of balance sheet, we're in a strong position. We've got $6 billion of liquidity, including around $3 billion of cash. And that is in part due to the sale of 50% of our assets in the greater Washington area during FY21. We've continued to access um, banking capital markets all through this COVID affected period. And in FY21, we raised $10.2 billion of debt and in debt and capital markets. And uh, the weighted average cost of that Australian debt is sitting just above 4% and the tenor is about eight years. So we continue to get really good support from those markets. And we think that that's very crucial as we look at this big opportunity pipeline that we have. We've continued to be very focused on the distribution and um, in FY22, we'll distribute free cash, excluding capital releases. As I said, we will see some impacts from government mandated lockdowns, but nonetheless, we'll continue to pay out distributions to our security holders. And I guess just looking long term, we're very confident that the markets in which we operate, congestion, attractive demographics are going to um, help us with long term traffic growth. And they will be augmented by new opportunities about which I've spoken and which we're well funded for.